Aloha ka kahiaka e mana. Okay, this is for you, my fifth graders. Alrighty, and we're going to start off with ha vaipono i. And continuing on with our mea ai, which is the food. And we're closing up with um, the ono food, the song. Okay, so are you makau kau? Alrighty. Hava i po no i na na i ko mo i kala ni ali i ke ali i makua la ni e ka me ha me ha e na ka wa e pa le. Okay, so we we're doing mea a, yeah? And the mele was the ono stuff, yeah? Okay, just a little bit more information about kalo or taro, okay? Let me read to you some facts about taro. There are lots of interesting, there are lots of interesting things you know about taro. Taro is also known as Kalo in the Hawaiian language. It was brought to Hawaii across the sea more than a thousand years ago in the sailing canoes of the first Polynesian settlers. Taro was the most important food crop of ancient Hawaii. It was the staff of life and served at almost every meal. Taro is grown around the world, but only in Hawaii is taro made into poi, which is one of the easiest foods to digest. There are two main varieties of taro. There's the dry land, which is grown in mulch, and the wet land, which is grown in lo'i, meaning the pond fields. In Hawaii, most of the dry land taro is grown on the big island and is made into taro chips, which are like potato chips. Most of, of Hawaii's wetland taro is grown on the island of Kauai and is made into poi. That's where the good poi comes from, Hanale poi. Okay? The taro corn or the root, also known as the oha in Hawaiian, grows underground like a potato. This is the part of the plant that is made into poi. Okay, oh, see. Just right here. This is the corn. Okay. The heart-shaped leaves, known as luau, and here you can see it, can also be cooked and eaten. They taste a lot like spinach. Now, way back in Hawaiian mythology, it turns out that taro and man are related. Taro was the firstborn of the son of the Hawaiian gods, and man was second son. This made Taro the older brother and senior branch of the family tree, both honored and respected. The Hawaiian people descended from the junior branch of the younger brother because it is traditional in Hawaiian culture for the older brother to care for the younger Hawaiians. Therefore, believe that taro takes care of them. Growing taro is a lot of work through, though planting, weeding, and harvesting is all done by hand, and a taro crop can take up to 15 months to grow before it's ready to harvest. Unfortunately, the number of taro farms in Hawaii has been declining due to many factors, one which is an invasive pest, the apple snail. Okay, so a little more 
about Kalo, right? If you, if I turn my back to you, you're going to see like unscrabbled words, okay? So let's take a look at this. Where is my Laao? All right, that's okay. Folks can see this. O I P is paste made from the taro root. So what do we eat? Poi. That would be P O I. Okay, we'll unscrabble that. Okay. It's treats filled with pork, fish, and chicken. Okay. Lao Lao. L A U. L A U. Okay. Lao Lao is um, wrapping or bundle. Okay. Um, it's normally um, wrapped in a leaf. Okay. They put their food inside and that's when they cook it. Okay. Alrighty. It's not the birthday kind, but it's C E K A. So you unscrabble that, that becomes cake. Okay? And this is a healthy snack, okay? So what did we, um, can we read about um, the big island, the land taro, um, the landfill, the mulch? They make what out of it? Yeah, my cutty chips, okay? Alrighty, so we'll continue on. I call them mine. Okay. With the taro, alrighty. That's the song that we're gonna do, okay? So, a little more about Maya. So, I did that the last time, okay? Maya is what? Banana, alrighty. Is eaten raw or cooked, depending on the variety. When taro is scarce, so they have little taro. A poi was made from mashed bananas. Okay, I think I did this. I did this with you folks last week. More than seventy varieties known to the early Hawaiians. Okay. Okay. For religion reasons, leaves sometimes used to cover small shrines called unu. Fruits were offered to their gods. Okay. And also, the bodies of the kings were wrapped in the banana leaves. Alrighty. Okay. And then one more fruit um, we're singing today would be the ulu. Ulu in Hawaiian is breadfruit, okay? So let's come on this side. And let me just move this over. Okay, color mine. There you go. See, you can see it right here. Let me move this away. Here it is. Ready? So you folks can see that. Maya, the banana, okay? I'm tasty and slender. From me comes potassium. Amaya the banana. Okay? So, here we have it. The banana right here. Alrighty. Okay. The next one is on this um, song sheet is the ulu. Okay? And it looks like this right here. Okay? Ulu. Alrighty. I'm ulu the breadfruit. I also can make poi. I'm rich, you see, in vitamin C. I'm ulu the breadfruit. Okay. A little something about ulu. It's good source and starch and vitamin B and C. Come <coughs> on. It's baked in the imu. Imu is the underground oven, yeah? Okay, it's sometimes made into poi. It's used for pudding and used to fatten pigs, okay? So then when they want the pigs to get big and healthy and fat so they can kalua the pig, they make them eat the ulu, okay? The trunk of the ulu 
can be made as drums or pahu, okay? Surfboards, because of the lightness of the wood of the ulu tree. Poi boards, okay, they need the boards to pound the poi on, okay? Woodwork in houses, okay? And, let's see, dye. Young male flower makes a tan dye. Old one makes a brown dye, okay? It's used for medicine. You know, a lot of these um, Hawaiian plants, they're, um, the Hawaiians used them for medicine in the olden days, you know. Yes. And some of them were used to um, heal skin disease, okay? And the leaf of the um, buds were used for um, thrush. And that's like you have sores in your mouth, okay? When um, the milky sap um, solidifies or and used as chewing gum, glue, they can um, glue for joining two gourds to make drums, okay, like the, the ipu, you put two of them together, okay. The chalking to fill seams of the canoe, okay, it's almost like glue, paste, okay, and it's used to catch birds, so feathers could be removed, okay. And um, it's used as sandpaper in the final smoothing of utensils, polishing bowls, or the kukui nuts. The kukui nuts, like this one, okay, they can use that to, um, it's, um, they can use it for like sandpaper to smooth it out, okay. And the umeke, or the bowl, yeah, they can use that to sand, okay. Alrighty, so. Udu. Okay? So we're going to go again. Hey, I'm, I'm going to need my color owl, okay? So so we can go over the words. Hey, Here it is. Sorry for facing my back to you. Okay? So we'll start from the top, okay? I'm Kalo the Tarot. I am the Staff of Life. Where did you hear that? I just read that to you this morning, yeah? Staff of Life. What does it mean when they say Staff of Life? Okay, that means that it's necessary food, okay? That's what makes us, a, it gives us support, you know, of our life, the food, okay? It's the poi was a staple food, okay? The staff of life, support of life, okay? That's where we heard that, okay? I am the staff of life. I give you poi. I'm no kaoi. No kaoi means I'm the best, okay? I'm kalo, the what? The tarot, okay? Then the chorus, okay, or the hui, it's i ono. Na mea ai, i ka mai ka i, o ke kuke ana, kupa ia ana, o mo ia ana. Okay? This right here means delicious food. Oh no, because it's delicious. Mea ai is food. Well done. Boiled. Okay? Broiled and baked. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, come on. And the next one is what? Maya. Can you say Maya? Banana. I'm Maya the man, the banana. I'm tasty and slender. From me comes potassium. I'm Maya the banana. Okay? The next one, I'm Ulu the breadfruit. I also can make poi. I'm rich, you see, in vitamin C. I'm Ulu, the breadfruit. Okay? Let's go ahead and sing that. And, I'm sorry, next week we'll do um, the Uala and Ko. There are the last two um, Mea'ai of this Ono stuff food. Okay? So, let's go ahead and try and sing it. Alrighty? You know me, I love to sing, yeah. Okay, so... 
Kalama, I have my chords over here in front of me. Are we ready? You folks can see. Let me try move it up a little so you can see it a little closer. You can see the song. Are we good? Okay, sir, I know there's a little glare over here. I'm so sorry. Okay. Maybe just a little. Okay. Ah, oh, my God, let's go ahead and do this. On the staff, okay? Are we makaka? What do you answer? I. I kalo the taro. I am the staff of life. I give you poi. I'm noka oi. I'm kalo the taro. I ono namea ai. I ka mai ka i. sweet potato and the coal next week and we can do the whole song okay too bad you know i really wish that um you folks was in my class person you know person to person or i go to your class and i can make you taste poi i think some of you have tasted poi before yeah i remember my young ones did and they went oh but you know, that's not nice, yeah, that's not showing respect to Kumo, okay? If you don't like it, you just don't say anything. Okay, and it's a hui ho time, boys and girls. Are you makaka? A hui ho. Malama kono, a hui ho. Malama kono, a hui ho. Eidei, a hui ho.